for them. They didn't have nowhere to go. The people started to murmur, talking about if we was going to die, we might as well have died in Egypt. <laughs> Believe me, Moses got to thinking. Said, what is that you got in your hand? Stretch it out. He stretched out the rod. And they went across the sea parted. Just think about that. God is still parting seas for us today. We don't have to worry. All we got to do is think. And remember, don't get scared now. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They had their lives ahead of them. But the king told them if they didn't bow down to his image, that he was going to throw them between the fiery furnace. You know what that meant, that they were going to die. But they stood up for Jesus. They stood up for us because we needed a witness. They wouldn't do it. They wouldn't bow down. So he heated the fire seven times hotter than it had ever been. His men enforced themselves. They took the three down to the furnace and put them into the furnace. The fire was so hot that it blew the men back that came to put them in there. They were in there for a little while. The king checked to see what was going on. Woo, hallelujah. They said, I see, did not we put three men in there? But I see four men, and one of them looks like the Son of God. Don't get scared now. Just think, just think, just think how good God is. He can do anything but fail. <laughs> Hallelujah. In the New Testament, they ran out of wine at the party, at the, at the wedding. And Jesus was there. <laughs> Jesus turned water into wine. That was the first miracle that was attributed to Jesus. Anything can happen with Jesus. Don't get scared for what you don't have. You don't have no food. You don't have this. We can't celebrate because we ain't got no wine. Jesus can turn water into wine. Oh, hallelujah. Woo! What a mighty God. What a mighty God. Lazarus was a friend of Jesus. Lazarus had died. His sister and them were weeping, crying because... He had been dead for a while and Jesus didn't hurry to get there. Because he knew that by the time he get there, and if Lazarus was raised from the dead, that somebody would know that he did it. And Jesus stepped in and rose Lazarus from the grave, from death into life. Don't get scared now. There is no death that God can't make a lie because he has all power. The Bible is full of this. But it don't have to be the Bible. We could be talking about me. The miracles that I have dealt with in my life. See, one day I was sinking deep in sin far from the peaceful shore very deeply staying within seeking to rise no more but jesus he picked me up out of muck in the mire clay he said don't get scared now because i am him i can do anything but fail and i'm so glad i'm so glad who wouldn't serve a god like this we don't have to get scared we just need to think of the goodness and all that he's done Woo! Woo! thank you lord thank
thank you, Lord. One day, they took my Jesus. They marched him from hall to hall. They marched him up Calvary's hill. They had, he had a cross and a thorn around his head. He took that cross on a hill called Golgotha. They took him. They put him on a cross. They dropped him low, but he hung high. And when he died, he rose again with all power in his hand. Don't get scared. Lord wasn't scared. Jesus wasn't scared. He rose one Sunday morning with all power, all power, all power, all power. Not white power, not black power, not but holy working power, wonder working power. And I'm so glad today. I've been scared a many times, but I don't have to be scared now. Don't have no fear. Because when we make it through the midnight hour, we can rise in the morning knowing everything is all right. Everything going to be all right. Everything going to be all right. Trust in the Lord and think. Man, God bless you.